Why am I in a trailer court parking lot instead of at a flea market? Well, here's the story. Carl and I were headed to the Pinellas flea market. We're really excited because the flea markets that we lost here have been replaced by this, which means now we have flea markets we can go to. You pay a dollar and you park and you see what you find. Wow, it's windy. I wonder if there'll be anything left, but it looks like there's a few people still set up. Good to know this is back, though. I, I'm sure there's a lot of new stuff here, but I understand that some antique and vintage comes out here, so we'll just see. But quickly we were getting blown away along with a whole lot of the merchandise. That's why at this point whatever is left is on the ground. Anticipation of the afternoon storm. Ooh. It's off to the races for that blouse. I see Carl waving to me down in the distance. So we decided to try again the next week. The weather's much better, but we got distracted because there is a sign for a community sale at a trailer court. And those can be pretty good in Florida because a lot of retirees live in these places. We're going to go take a look right now. Well, there's no some parking. stuff there. Yeah, cool. No parking there, no parking there. Visitor parking. No, or yeah. just right here. Genius. Getty? No. We're trying to figure out what the name of this school is. It seems unfortunate. I'm not really sure how this place works or how things are priced, but I see this right away, and it's a little tam, maybe from about 1970s, little beret, and it's Irish shillelagh brand. This one is cute too, but I think the condition is not as good. But that's interesting because of the label. But this one looks like the one to buy, depending on the price. So this place isn't one where they open up and the public goes around the place. Everything is consolidated in a clubhouse in this parking lot, so there's oceans of clothes. Let's see inside here. Wow, busy place. I couldn't really let the sound go because of the music. There's a tile from one of those places in the Fort Myers area from the 60s or 70s. I would certainly take that if it's cheap, and I bet everything is here. Nothing is really priced. They have a silent auction going on for some nicer things over here. That could be fun, although I don't need that scrunchy wreath. Thank you very much. Cuisinart. Things are really well categorized here, and so you could find vintage in any of them because they've just divided up by type. Like, here's this on past life regression, and this is about 30 years old, which is about the age of vintage I'd expect to find in a place like this. Did you ever notice that everybody who had past life regression ended up being somebody famous and noteworthy in the past? Nobody was ever like the court jester or the village idiot. Anyhow, I digress. Uh, let's look at some lamps here. These are typical ones you see from the early 60s in the milk glass. Very common, but definitely 50 years old or more now. These are interesting. I wonder if they're studio pottery or if they're newer. They have a look. And these I like because they match something I have that's a hanging lamp, and I like this applied over the milk glass from the 1960s. And the column bases are actually kind of a neat look as well. I have to say this is an interesting wall because it's not just all men that they're showing here. These are people who've lived in this particular place that were vets. What is retro? Well, other than in the gaming world where it has a little different meaning, Retro means it looks like an old piece. It's got the style of an old piece, but you find out then it isn't. And let's look at the bottom of this and see why it looks Art Deco, right? Wow, there's a lot of people. Okay, let's turn this over now. And we'll show this very new plug. And on the bottom, we'll show this very new sticker. Well, they're having a bake sale here. They're selling gift baskets that they've made, ooh, including this one. Somebody donated an adult surprise. I'm not sure how I feel about someone else's adult surprise. I would feel better to be surprised by finding some antique and vintage things here. Well, there's the bake sale. And mugs galore. There's probably something of some value in here, but I'm not into them right now. This has an older look, but I bet this is new, this bowl. It's got a neat glaze, but it's just so separated. Yep, it's actually plastic. Amazing. Made to look like pottery. I've just got to believe that a place that's been here this long... Okay, this is Federal Glass from the early 50s. I think that was called Park Avenue. That was their version. I don't recognize that canister. Oh, I grew up with one of those Branch L Melmac bowls, so at least we're finding a few old things now. Looking for vintage costume jewelry. There's fun, colorful pieces here, but is there anything old? This has a look. That's not bad. It's a mellower gold, so it's 70s. That's a thought. I don't see anything else that doesn't look like it's 1990s or newer. 
they have the music really loud in here, so I couldn't let it roll. But this is from Tennessee. Carl found it. Fake bone handle there, made of plastic. Very 60s souvenir. We see that sort of thing quite a lot. Well, we're trying. So far, I still just only have this nifty hat. Carl hasn't found anything either. We're going to go look at the furniture, though. I'm mainly looking for small furniture. I've got a lot of big furniture now. Next to those 80s tables is this one with the gold twist legs. That's kind of sweet out of the 70s. Definitely a look. $5 now. Wow. These are very 80s. If they weren't faded, they actually are a lot of fun with all that color. Don't forget the art wall. A lot of art comes down to Florida and other retirement places that is from elsewhere. And so you can find listed regional artists from places that people are not expecting, sometimes at a bargain at these places. Well, garage sales spawn garage sales. So, of course, the neighbors are out in full force and they had signs and lured us back here. So we're getting really distracted today. I like the fish plates, but they're pretty common. Mini babies. Probably some good useful things for people. Nice price on the camera set with the lenses at 30 bucks. I still have some cameras though. Fishing equipment. I mean, for a lot of people, this would be a really fun sale. There's a ton of tools. So, cool stuff for a lot of folks, but not the stuff I'm looking for today. Yeah, that's okay. actually pretty cool. It's got the uh, mark right on it. And I never get it. Yeah. That's just sort of dirt there. So thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah, but I think this is cool too. I think you were right. And like you said, you were just saying 20 millimeter isn't really as common. You usually see half this size. And it was five bucks because yeah. they were selling a bunch of tools. And I got a Swiss Army knife for five bucks, which needs a little cleaning, but I think it'll be all right. And what'd you get? This was a gamble. Oh, but mainly because of the holographic cover. That and uh, the pamphlet. You know, oh, it's got all the stuff. It's cool. Well, we'll look it up. All right, here we are. We're in, right? Hi, ho. Yep. So this is where we wanted to go last time, but it was super windy. Big time. This is the first time I've been here that it's actually been open and not blowing across the parking lot. That was amazing. Yeah, it was really bad. But let's see what's over here, because I think there's some neat stuff. I'll let Carl come back here when he sees there's interesting things on the table. This looks like the stuff he and I liked together when we were kids. You folks are from Indiana, and you used to do the... Uh... Illinois, I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. The faux pas. That's right. I saw you at the old flea market. Well, it's nice to see you again. Well, they have fun stuff, and I have definitely got from them before, so I'm going to see what they have now. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. See, sometimes you want to look through because you find stuff that's older or different. Interesting. This must have been because of the war. I really like the fobs. I've bought from him before. These have new straps, but there's some nice older pieces of yeah, machine equipment. So we'll see what his price is. I'll pick the few that I think are particularly interesting. That one has some color, but not even. Yale, Trojan, anything that looks tough, you know? Seriously, that's what people are interested in. Cat is good because they usually have a cut out, and that makes and it a little more three dimensional looking. It's nice to see some of the familiar people back at the flea market because we lost these flea markets around here. We're lucky somebody figured out how to get this place going again, so some of these people are able to come back now. Oh, I walked right you past this thing right now. Euclid. Oh, there's some nice ones. It's a little bit worn. I like it though. Making me miss Colorado. I meddled in that dig old privies and uh, oh, trash pits. And find a little Mainly the common ones, because it almost seemed like any of the onion skins I'd find would be so chipped. We're actually in a burn. A bunch of silver spoons. There's one from the New York World's Fair. I might pick that up, actually. I don't have anything okay. World's Fair right now. It's a common piece, but thank you. Uh -huh. But I just don't really have anything, so. Are those sterling? That's, I don't know, and it's hard to tell. Uh, Most of them, they look be. worn like plate. Yeah, they're worn like plate on the back. So these were the marbles you were talking about. Yeah, I mean, I found comments. I've only found a couple onion skins, but they've all, every one has been damaged. Yeah, they chip pretty easily, actually. Yeah, really The bad. way they were made back then. Uh, the Aggies actually are more solid, the way the glass is composed, in my yeah, opinion. Those are 
beautiful. Those, yeah, those are really nice, couple. and there's some there's some interesting colors there. I don't know my colors that well, but that one with the multicolor, the orange and the green and the darker and the blue. This one there? Uh, right in the middle there. It's actually one of the Oh, yeah, yeah, with ones. the green. Yeah. But having all those colors in it, that that's the only thing I know to look for because you really have to. There's books on it, and you can learn it if you're really I have, into it. But there's some, there's some valuable marbles. Oh, yeah. No, the um, especially the sulfides, the ones the clear, oh, the yeah, little I like sulfides if they're really clean and in good shape, which is rare. Here's those nicest ones, I guess, right? There's a couple that are pretty early there, and then look at that one with the lavender and the uh, yellow, yellow forty-five dollars. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a few of those too. Okay. Yeah, billions of these. These are not worth anything, huh? No, I I don't know. If how you doing? That's an interesting cut out in this fork here. This is something from about the 1920s. Nice filigree around this. I know they're trying to pack it. I'm sure if I bought something out of the box, they wouldn't mind. This is a hub from a wagon wheel turned into a lamp. Popular thing to do in the 50s and 60s. The spokes would have come out here. Jewelry all looks new on this table. Oh, that's serious. <laughs> Military spike. What's that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, big piece of glass. Oh, you know, I think that actually is Murano, but it's pretty recent vintage. I have some smaller bowls that match that. And then this one looks like it's Italian, but I'll bet it's Polish. Uh, Czech, actually. Yeah. Nice looking, but too new for me. This one is Fenton, of course, and I don't know that I have the uh, sage green, so maybe we'll uh, put that up. Oh, no, little chip there. Oh, drudgery. Okay. How you doing? Okay, so safety racers. There's certain ones that are actually pretty good now. I've sold them for, like, something that looks like everything else sells for, like, 40 or 50 bucks. So look for numbers on the stems and the shafts Okay. Uh, for starters and go from there. Gillettes or something? Yeah, one of the first Gillettes is worth a ton of money. Yes, that's true. But depending what they're asking, any of these might be decent. This one is a Gillette as well. How much are the razors? The razors yes, yeah, 10. 10? Okay, thank you. Well, it has to be something kind of interesting. These ones that are like shavers, but not really you know, oh. there for like the back of your neck or surgery or that kind of thing. They don't sell for as much in my general uh, They want the experience. old double-edge razors, right? Good to know. Okay, here we go. This one's got the mechanism where if you turn it, it comes out. But it looks like the handle's really worn. But that's a good thing right there, apparently. That opening. Yeah, I think yeah, you turn the bottom and it cranks open. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sick Corona. Hmm. I haven't seen this one before, and sometimes these plastic handles from the early 60s, if they do something specific, are actually pretty good. I might have to look that one yeah. up. And the ones in the boxes, probably all of them, just for being in the boxes, should be on the buy list at $10. And then the gem, this is old. Yeah, that's it. I just noticed that. I had one guy out in Washington who collected only gem. They have eight on that. Hmm. There's this one. Yeah, that's so sort of the same thing, but is there supposed to be a hole in the bottom? I can't tell. Uh, or is I, this solid? I think so. I mean, no, that's probably the price tag. You mean up behind it? Yeah, I can't really tell. Okay, so I'm going to peel it off. No, nope, it's, it's, it's the same. You're right. So this one, you just physically open it? I think you like a clip, yeah. Huh. Okay, and then it's almost a single edge yeah. or a single blade. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Split the cost. Oh, yeah, just uh, throw it in there. Okay. Oh, that is too. Oh, oh thank you. Let's see. Hard to get open. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, Carl's strong. He'll yeah, I, I'm having the same issues lately. <laughs> of course, I said that. Oh, wow, this one's really hard. Right. There we go. Ta da. Valet. Yeah. Oh, the valet. Yeah. yeah cool. Oh, that's nice. It's got the razors and all. Yeah, definitely. Oh, how much was that? Uh, same oh. as the rest, I think. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, this one, well. Yeah, it has the same as the white one. It's the yellow. 
You did the negotiating. I wouldn't have actually asked for two for 15, so thank you for that. This price is low enough to get all of them and if they're in good shape. This one might be. So two for five is pretty reasonable on those. and I've never seen these for sale. Good year? Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, this one's kind of beat up, though. Yeah, unfortunately. Fun, though. A few different things. Oh, that's cool. That's definitely a jack of Cargill blades. Yeah, do you want that one? Nah. I'll take these. I guess I'll take them. So, oil stones. I have someone who collects various sharpening oh, yeah. stones. Brown bottle opener. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Oh, thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, filtered cigarettes. That's why it's small. But you could just... You mean non-filtered? Non-filtered, yeah. I'm sorry, yes. Non-filtered cigarettes, yes. Since you've never smoked a cigarette in your life, you're... I don't know these things. Forgiven that. Are so you collecting that. these? No, I mean, if it's like Black Flag or anything like poison or semi-poison related. Yes, I um, see. Hence the shirt. Yeah. This thing is really cool. And who designed that? Some guy named Carl. Yeah, I thought so. So how can somebody get that? Because I have one and people have actually asked me when I'm wearing it. Oh, I do the red bubble, the print on demand, t-shirt site. So even if you just Google Curb Digger Carl, one word, it will send you there. Awesome. Well, I think it's really cool. And I, you have a lot of really fun designs. I think people have a good time there. Ooh, $12 isn't bad, but I they are a little chip. Uh, this one was 15 it's I think this one it. seems like it's in better shape. Oh, yeah, though. actually, you're right. They get shot more when they're out at shows like this. I'm sure a lot of that damage is just from being thrown in a box. A lot of it does look new. I, I had one skin. when I was in high school. I don't even, I know I had one. I can't even tell you the colors, but I used it for a week or two and it got stepped on or something, you know, promptly and thrown away. Oh, that's sad. I always like those because they actually work. They do know. work, that's the thing, and you can do potatoes or ice cream, and yeah, yep. it works really well. I think I should get it. And she's like, good God, he has thousand or something. Ah. She's like, oh. oh, yeah, she yeah. gave me a few, uh, Aunt Nancy gave me a few of these to sell after uh, Uncle Oh, really? died. Yeah. That one looks interesting. I like this one, you're right. It's another channel on who made most of these, uh, although there were a few others. There's an Excelsior and a Lambders, but... Uh, Channel on made some of the best looking ones. Is that the same cool. term for the woman's little? Uh, that's a chatelaine, but chatelaine, it's similar. Okay, yeah, you. American approved. Oh, these are kind of fun. I mean, I've actually always liked these, but nowadays there's, uh, you know, it's a cool you one. have to get them for the right price because they only sell for so much generally, like ten, and fifteen a piece. Yeah, that's kind of my feeling. That one's turning over their whole display. Yeah, that's aluminum, so it's a little later, but it's got the uh, New York City approved type. Yeah. That you could use it in trade, I guess. All right, well, I'm an easy mark because I just got a whole collection of hanging scales for $60. Oh, yeah. Well, she seemed happy. That's she nice. was a nice lady. It's yeah, she was a nice lady. That's great. And I'm glad that I was able to take something heavy off her hands that she didn't want to deal with anymore. Quality isn't as great. Coloration varying. These are recent vintage offshore, so I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, let's see this little gra crackle glass piece. Three dollars. That's cute. Unfortunately, the crackle glass had a chip, or not a chip, a crack in the handle. You have to look under the handles to make sure the crackle is just crackle, and not a place where somebody grabbed it hard and broke it or dropped it on its edge. Yeah. We are late in the day here. We didn't get here right away because we got waylaid by other estate sales and garage sales. And we're doing fine. We certainly haven't spent a lot of money either, and I've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Royal Commemorative Bust Up Bell. Piece of uranium glass. Depression era. It's Florida, so there's going to be a lot of plants and vegetables, which is cool. But we could kind of finish up with that so that, that is, we don't have said to drag it around, right? Notice you said vegetable right when you passed over me. So. That was only somewhat intentional. <laughs> well, there's a certain boho feel to this stuff. It's not old, but I think there's sort of a cool factor to some of it. I see a couple things I really like. I don't know if I need. We'll see. Maybe that picture. Now, could this be old enough? I think it might. We'll take a look. 
Another thing that's kind of cool in this boho-ish booth is this Italian-made viewer that harkens back to the ancients, which is a theme that's starting to come into decorating again. The ancients and the classics are starting to be considered a sign of stability over the generations. Yes, the task is to hold it and not drop it. That is correct. Thank you. They take care. So he had cool stuff and we found some things. That was awesome. Don't assume everything on the thing is new. This uh, carved wood face is interesting too, and it's got a name. I should probably be picking that up as well. I, I do like that one. I'm glad you suggested we come back. And I'll bet, there, I'll bet there's more on Sunday. Sunday's when the old 49er used to be, and that's when people showed up. I like some of this enamel jewelry, though. And it's bigger. More vendors on Sunday. And more yeah. antique and vintage yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm interested in. I had a feeling because the 49ers always were it's on the Sunday. 49ers great. Excellent. Well, that's yeah. great because we missed all of you guys. All out here on Sunday. Okay, yeah. good to know. Facebook, Dallas. I don't. But on Sundays, I'm giving up Saturdays. I'm on top beads. Because um, I don't have any days off. I work full time. 73, 78. 78. 75 sounds great. Yeah. All right, so we're at $101 and still looking. And the shell bracelet is really fun. It's the Florida version of the confetti bracelet from the early 60s. Their handbag by Inver is more precious with a genuine culture pearl lock. Put everything separate for you. Huh? Oh, thank you. Touch an inch or oh, I appreciate that. Thanks. Well, I spent so much time at the jewelry table that poor Carl wandered off to look at other things. I think he's buying vegetables and stuff, so I'm going to meet him over in the farmer's market. Okay, say fire and light right on it in huge letters to make it easy on us. It's uh, something else. Studio Keys 2004. It's getting hot out here. It's only February and it's already 87 degrees. That almost looked like a bower vase with those flowers in it, but it is not quite right. Apparently you can buy anything here. Or costume jewelry. Not all costume jewelry is created the same. Most of this was created yesterday. But this woman actually beats me in the overpacking department. It is truly amazing. This comes to this meet every week. I don't know how it manages to get here without just expiring in the middle of the freeway, that poor truck. Fostoria Colony center handled plate there. Center handle plates are quite elegant. They're fun to carry around at parties with little ports and things, but they're not fun to store. And because of that, they don't sell for that much. A little bit of older china here. Pretty, but nothing that I see other than possibly this casserole. That's sexist. One quart corningware, but it's got the green, but it's pretty worn, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would get that because you don't see the colors often because they wore. Well, in addition to local raw honey and a lot of other good things, they have lots of fun stuff to eat. So you can pretty much spend a whole morning and in, into the early afternoon here. And if you're going to have the intestine soup, this is definitely the place to have it. A lot of it. Nicoletta, and I'll have the Aunt Sally, yes. Here we are at the end of an estate sale. Estate sale by Dixie. I seem to have a recollection of having shopped at one of Dixie's estate sales before, and I think I got things and was pretty happy with it. It's pretty late in the game, though. This is the end of the discount day, so if there's anything left, we'll find out. Stuffed on and Aww, laundry. I was hoping to get this. This is cute. Wow. And it is an original one, but it's got a cigarette burn, just like Mom used to make. But the rest of it's really nice shape, I know. Too. That's a cool pattern. Yes, it really yeah. is. And it's an original Costco with the flip-down feet, yeah. Oh, well, too bad. Yep. So, let's see, wrought iron, yeah. Let's see what's inside. Half price is 30 on that. Nah, that's what I would get. So I might get 20 because this looks pretty clean and it's a good color. 
right now with pyrite so hot. And this is 15, but it's pretty warm. So dishwasher, not dishwasher. That's why Pyrexes work. Money now fits in good shape. Oh, a lot of it ended up like this. Perel, some mulberry etch. <laughs> Cute little depression glass stones. Those would go in a backlight. Brown and orange. Is there a divider in there? That might be worth $10. 20. 20. Half would be 10. I think $8 for it. Oh, thank you. What about uh, this one? All right. Okay, we're in Florida, so there is some nice glass left and neat 50s dinnerware. This is Knowles. Knowles is not his desirable a name, but boy, it's a really fun set. Very 50s and a whole lot of it. I need more dinnerware like I need a hole in my head. It's one thirty-five. it's half of it now, so it's about a dollar per piece. Here we go, of course. It's nine dollars now. That's cheap enough to buy. People love them. They're everywhere, but people love them, that's why. I like the color on this set, which is now 20. This is a nice old set. A little bit worn on the gold. $150, it's a shame that that's still here. It's really quite handsome. 150 should have sold that. Wow, so this sold for $75. Unbelievable. And that really nice oak uh, sideboard out there is still for sale, and it's a great price. So what's in there? Nothing. Just paper. Uh, yeah, but look at that. Oh. Union Pacific oh. Railroad. Yeah, that was their slogan back in about 1980. Oh, it's a twisty tie, not even a cocktail stir. Okay. Nothing, 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 and nothing. But hey, found something, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, here's more railroad. Yeah, See, I good. like to, I like yeah. nice gestures. Burlington Northern isn't that color anymore, and it's merged with Santa Fe. So, oh, what does it say? Can CR ninety nine bridge bridge port Connecticut. It's almost impossible. Yeah, like that. It's for sale. Yeah. Oh well, it's it's just a shell for ten dollars. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not trench art or anything. It's worth that for brass, though. So, uh, what's all in there? Any of your stuff? No, I don't think so. Okay, the, uh, razor blades or wherever you put them. Okay, the, so the two Pyrex the and the can here, the shell and we've got Burlington Northern and this and what that all cost us about okay, 33 under $40 that's 10, pretty good you said eight, five. yep how much was the I think they threw in those other two pieces yes. uh, so yeah under $40 millimeter, 20 millimeter nice yeah okay job. well that's good so let's see what's in the side because I think that's where your stuff is nursery school is I guess the trolls it must have just come out. Troll like, dolls are yeah, some of your earliest dolls. nursery school memories. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I think they're pretty great now. Well, that one's Danish, and that's uh, what they need to be to be the originals like you would have seen. I, um, this isn't the stuff that we got. Unless, did she with hand wrap stuff. Let's see. No, she couldn't. Have. No, no, it's all in here somewhere. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I thought that thing was cool. It's actually Lucite with butterflies, probably from the 70s. Probably someone's shot project, but I thought it was actually kind of fun. Oh, they actually do not look like any or many bubbles. Yes, the best up bell. Um, let's see what else is in here. Are these dive. the one? Oh, hey, there's some oh, vegetables. You. Okay, yeah. see, I knew you had stuff in here. No, you found a few things. Did you get your DVD? Yeah, that I got. Okay, and you carried this around for me. That's pretty cool from yeah, Italy. It's cool. I mean, it's definitely not my style. And it's not my style either, but I can see where it could be somebody's. And oh, I thought the, the stuff he had in general was really funky when you put it all together. So he had an eye. Okay, that's all of those weights. And I don't think we put anything but weights in yeah. that one. So I can I leave that. that. And then... I think it's a razor and four, maybe five, but I think just four. Here we pegs. go. 
probably worth five, eight dollars, nothing. You think so? Did you yeah, look it up? Did, like, well, I started glancing it through the phone and I guess there's a million different versions of it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe you but have the I'm secret not one. Worried. I'll watch them. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. The chopper's mine. Obviously, I got on a kitchen thing that I was a little low on. Anything decent in kitchen oh, for cool bag here. for your uh, fobs. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I love that cool. bag. Yeah, a lot of good little things. I needed to regenerate those little cases I have. So pick out whatever you want, because you picked out, what, four of those? Um, I think it was four, and then you threw one, and she, you handed me one, or I picked three, and well, take them because she said at the end that she basically threw those in for free, so you can just oh, have them. Cool. Yes. And how much was this? Uh, the gem razor was seven dollars and fifty cents. Oh, here I was going to give you one of these oh, extra that you could sell online. All right, get your ten dollars back. Right, let me uh, give you two fifty. You can tell I haven't washed my van in a hundred years oh, at least. It's the same. <laughs> well, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, and I am very place. excited. Yeah, we found uh, well. You found what about twenty bucks worth of stuff, no, and I, wasn't I really looking. and I spent uh, three hundred fifty, and I wasn't looking either. Nice. So there. Okay, we'll see y'all later. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one. Also, click thumbs up to like this video, and check the description for information about our Patreon, our memberships. We've got a lot of different levels with different perks and bonus videos and early content. Also, please do check out our website, theantiquenomad.com, for appraisal help. And we'll see you again for more adventures in the antique and vintage community soon. Bye for now.